What's up, Ant City, and welcome to something a little different for Demon Slayer. Today, I'm going to be introducing y'all to something that I'm calling the Demon Slayer Nuzlocke Challenge, where your goal is to get as many wins as possible with as little characters as possible. So you're probably wondering what exactly I mean by that, and you will understand in a second when I explain the rules. Let's just go ahead and go right into that. So rule number one is that you're only allowed to play as one character at a time. So you're not allowed to switch out mid-match. So let's say that you have Tanjiro and Nezuko on your team and Tanjiro is the character that you're on right now. You cannot switch out to Nezuko, but you are allowed to use assists with Nezuko and also save yourself from combos. Any assist is allowed, just not switching out of whatever character you're on at that moment. And rule number two is that you have to start by playing Tanjiro, and I'm not counting Hinokami Tanjiro, just normal, very first character on the roster, Tanjiro. This is just to give, you know, a general starting point for everyone doing the challenge, but you can do any combination of character with Tanjiro, which I will explain here in a second with rule number three. So rule number three is that every character you play as is only going to have two lives. So you're probably wondering what exactly counts as a life. Well, as you know, if you've played the game before, every match that you do in the game consists of three rounds it's a first to three basis for the game so because it's three rounds per match your two lives are going to be two rounds so not two whole matches not two first to threes just two rounds within one match which i'll show an example of what i'm talking about here and so if you lose two rounds at any given point then you're done with that character so for example let's say i'm in my very first match playing as tanjiro and whatever my second character is that i picked if I lose two rounds with Tanjiro, I use up my two lives and that's it. I can no longer use that character anymore. So I'm done with Tanjiro. He's out of the challenge completely. And as soon as I lose the two rounds, I have to switch into the next character and they will have two lives now. So let's say again, Nezuko was my second character. I lose two rounds with T Tanjiro. Now I have Nezuko. And so the way that works is because you already lost two rounds, you can only lose one more round within that match right so then that would mean if let's say you lost again with nezuko and you lost the whole match after that you would still have one life at the end of that because it's three it's three rounds and you already lost two which is why your tanjiro is dead and now you had one more and you lost that with nezuko and so now that extra one life that you have would move over into the next match and then if you die with nezuko then you have then you have to switch to a new character so to summarize, basically at any point, if you lose two rounds, that character is dead and you have to switch into your next character. Now, in the case that I was talking about with you lost two rounds with Tanjiro, Nezuko, you have her for one more round, win or lose there, Tanjiro is dead. So then your next team for the next match, because there's only three rounds and you already lost two, you would have to pick Nezuko and then another new character to play as. So then Tanjiro is just completely out of the question. And so you have to start with Tanjiro, but you can pick any combination. So you could pick like Tanjiro, Nezuko, or like Tanjiro, Rengoku, just whoever else. But you have to start with Tanjiro, and then you just keep going until you run out of characters. Personally, to keep it simple for me, I'm just going to go through the roster in order from left to right. So I'm not going to combine it in different ways. But if that's what you want to do, you can. Just make sure you do keep track of which characters are dead and which ones aren't. If you're going to not do it in order, because it might get a little confusing. And the final rule is that I am not counting the Academy characters as separate characters only because those, first of all, were pre-order exclusives. So not everyone doing this challenge is going to have those. But the main reason is because they essentially have the exact same movesets as the original roster characters. So like Academy Tanjiro has the exact same moveset as like the water user Tanjiro. Uh, except for the ult, obviously. The ultimate is the only difference. But other than that, the movesets are the same. But... What I will allow is, let's say, you know, you have to start off as Tanjiro for the challenge. Like I said, that's the rule. You can use Academy Tanjiro instead if you want to. Like, maybe you don't have normal Tanjiro unlocked and you pre-ordered the game. Or you just like Academy Tanjiro more, like whatever it is. You can use the Academy character instead, but it doesn't count as a whole separate character with two more lives, if that makes sense. So, if you lose two lives with normal Tanjiro... You're also not allowed to use Academy Tanjiro anymore, and same vice versa. If you lose two lives with Academy Tanjiro, then normal Tanjiro is also out. And that goes for all of the Academy characters, you know, Zenitsu, Inosuke, Giyu, Shinobu, all of them. If you lose two lives with the Academy, they're done. the normal versions of them are done too. But you can use the Academy versions or switch out for one life maybe or whatever you want to do. But you, ju you do have to count them as the same character. 
So to give a quick recap of the rules, rule number one, you're only allowed to use one character at a time, but you can use assists if you want to. Rule number two is you must start with Tanjiro. So the very first character you have to pick on your team is Tanjiro, but you can pick whoever else you want after that. So your second character on that Tanjiro team can be whoever. Rule number three is every character only has two lives. And remember, lives count as rounds, not matches. Rule number four is after both of your lives are used up, you can no longer use that character anymore. And then rule number five is that the Academy characters do not count as separate characters with their own lives. So if you use Academy Tanjiro and you lose both lives with him, then you also lose both lives with normal Tanjiro. But yeah, I think I made the rules pretty clear, but if you do have questions about it, still drop a comment and I will explain. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump straight into this video, this challenge. So yeah. Alright, so we have our first match ever of the Demon Slayer Nuzlocke Challenge right here, right now, against a Sabito and a Zenitsu. Interesting. So let's just see how this goes. Um, hopefully I don't just get obliterated, you know. Uh, I think I'll be alright, though. We should we should at least have Tanjiro here for a bit, you know. That's the, the hope. That's the dream. Alright, let's get him. Let's get him. Let's hit him with that right now. Okay, then we're going to block. Yeah, we gotta play extra carefully because we only have two lives <laughs> with each of these characters. So, you know, we gotta be real careful with how we're playing here. But hold up, let's see this. Oh, he blocked me. Oh, we got him with the whirlpool! Okay, that was actually hype. I thought I was gonna... I almost regretted doing the whirlpool because, as you know, after you do it... Or, unless you haven't seen my other videos, but... Or if you just haven't played the game. But after you do whirlpool, you are left really wide open. <laughs> so, uh, that was scary to do right there. Oh, I missed the perfect block twice. That's kind of bad, but it's all right. I should be okay. Oh, he's he's out of he's out of meter, so we're good. We're good. Dodge. Ooh, perfectly timed. I dodge at the perfect moment. All right, let's water wheel him. Break that guard. Break that guard. Ooh, okay. Or you can just unblock and I'll just combo you a little bit. Okay, let's get him. Water wheel. Oh, come on. He can hit me through my water wheel. Okay, I can hit him through his waterfall though. Hold up. Get your Niagara Falls move out of here. We're going to just... You know, I'll do my own Niagara Falls. Mine's better anyway. Oh, I tried to push him. It didn't work. And he surfed on me. Dang, he shanked me. Oh! <coughs> Jeez, he punctured a lung, I think. Like, oh my god. But I mean, I'm Tanjiro. I fight with broken limbs and bones all the time. You Do you not remember that I'm Tanjiro, the main character? Hello? Like, goodbye, sir. <laughs> Let's go. All right, all right. All right, the goal... I don't want to jinx it, but the goal is to do... We're gonna, we want to win this match without losing a single life. That is the goal here. If I can do that, I'll be satisfied. Because, I mean, we want to, like I said, we want to keep Tanjiro around for a little bit. Because the goal is to win as as much as possible with uh, with as little characters used as possible. So, basically, if you're, if you're on Tanjiro for a while, it just means that you were doing really good at this show. Ooh! Ooh! I almost unblocked. Oh, my gosh. Watch this. Into the ult. Let's get him. Woo! Let's go! First round is a dub with Tanjiro. We lost no lives, too. Like, not only is it a dub, we didn't lose a single life. Not one, not two, not one. We still have Tanjiro here, so we can do another match. Let's go. And I'm going to keep this like the same as, like, what I usually do. So we're going to do two matches per video. So, yeah, let's get, let's just get this going. All right, so now we now he decided to pick Tanjiro. He, we have real hosp we have hospital gown. Ta oh, he's playing Hinokami Tanjiro though. Okay, we've got hospital gown Tanjiro and hospital gown Zenitsu. So yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm trying to perfect block it. It's not working. I will, I I just noticed a little detail on the ground of the slashes since I'm a water user or water breather I should say. All the slashes on the ground were blue while his were red. I never really like noticed that before. That means Zenitsu's are yellow. It's actually kind of dope. Oh my God, are we? I was going to say, are we winning this early? Oh my god, we got a perfect round on him too. Let's go. Hold on a second. 
Yo, Tanjiro's kind of cracked. Hold on. I mean, it's funny I say that even though we're both playing Tanjiro. All right, let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get this going. Let's get this going a bit. All right, get him down with this. Spin up. Assist. Oh, Nezuko almost caught him. Almost. We're out of meter. Oh. <laughs> he, like, stopped to do that. Oh, no. Okay, he dropped it. He did a down combo, so it's fine. We can just pick that right back up where you left it off, you know? Water wheel him. Water wheel is such a good move in this game. Like, if I don't know if y'all have seen all the memes people make, but, like, water wheel is genuinely just broken. And, yeah. <laughs> Gee, let's go. We got another dove. Oh, my gosh. We're doing so great today. We're doing so great today. All right, come here, Zenitsu. Come here. There we go. Slash him up. Do this. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Break his guard, please. Let's go. Oh, my God. We are bullying him a little bit. Like, I, I don't mean to be like this, but oh, my gosh. It's just happening. All right. Let's see if I can. Oh, let's go. All right, GG. That's another round. Oh, my God. This is going to be a. Well, there is the whole intro part of me explaining the rules, so that'll extend the video a bit. But oh, my gosh. This is going to be a quick, quick video. Yeah, that's the first. That's it. That's the first episode of the Nuzlocke challenge done. And we are still on Tanjiro. I'm happy. We still have Tanjiro in the very first Nuzlocke video. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, I'm going to see y'all back at the title screen so I can end off the video. But anyways, guys, that's it for this episode of the Demon Slayer Nuzlocke challenge. If you want to try this challenge out for yourself, make sure you use the hashtag Demon Slayer Nuzlocke tag because I actually want to see what you guys are doing like how far you guys get with this challenge i want this to become like a thing you know so do hashtag demon slayer nuzlocke and yeah that's basically it though so thank y'all for watching hope y'all enjoyed like i said if you like this challenge or maybe if you have any questions or anything like that make sure you drop a comment below and i'll explain it and yeah until next episode though i'm actually pretty excited for how this is gonna go but until next episode i'll see you all later and peace have a good day or night y'all